It's time to talk about clocks. <laughs> Welcome back to CDB Morning Live in Brockville. Live where you live. This is Barbara Fortier. How are you? I'm fine. Thank Good you. to have you here. Uh, Heritage here. Clock Shop has uh, yes. uh, been around a while here in Brockville. How long? Yes, um, we're in our 19th year right now. Right, right. And um, uh, keeping very busy, yeah. especially with repairs. Yeah, that's one of the main things you do, right? Yes. Repairs to yeah. clocks. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, mostly restoring and repairing antique clocks. Yeah. Um, we do house calls as well for grandfather clocks. I heard that. Yeah. Um, you're like the clock doctors who come to the house. The only ones around, I guess. I think you're right. That do that. I think yeah. you're right. And that's yeah. good news for people who have, uh, especially grandfather clocks, that sort of thing, because they're not easy to transport. No, no, they're not. We usually go to the home. Um, we look at the clock, give the customer an estimate, roughly about how much it'll be. Right. And then from there, they can decide whether they want to do it or not. Right. Uh, if they do decide, we take the mechanism, the movement out of the case with the pendulum and the weights. Right. And and we bring it to the shop. All the work is done in the store at the shop. Right. And then when it's ready, we call the customer up and let them know and uh, deliver it and set it up again. This one now we're looking at here, Barbara, is yes. a good example of before and after, right? Because yes. oftentimes you'll find people with uh, older clocks and they could be beautiful antiques, but mm -hmm. they just haven't been kept in shape for whatever reason. Right. Yeah. You find a lot of clocks that have been put away over the years, yeah. uh, maybe in the basement or an old barn or, or an attic. attic. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And they've gone through a lot. Most of the time, for Unfortunately, they are repairable. Uh, we do look at the movement to see if it is still worthwhile doing. We're on the same side as the customer. Right. Uh, we have their best interest in it. Even if, uh, even if the mechanics don't work, the look of the clock yeah. is something else to enjoy, yes, right? Yes, for sure. In very worst case scenarios, we try and keep the movement or as original as possible. Right. We make parts as well, too, because a lot of these companies aren't around anymore. So what you're telling me is if uh, somebody can, if anybody can fix it, it's you. Pretty close. Yeah. Pretty close. And this yep. is uh, this uh, sort of business has uh, been in your family for quite some time. It has. Yes. It started with my grandfather in uh, in Germany. Right. And I've got some photos here. Where's your grandfather? Is this in here? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Yep. And you see all the trays in the back where the watches are hanging. There where in Germany ready. is this, Barbara? Do you know? Uh, I would have been in the northern part of Germany. Right. And um, there are the apprentices uh, Look at this. alongside. This yeah. is old style watch and clock making, it is. right? It is. Yeah. Yeah. You don't see that much anymore. There no. is no training for this anymore. Anymore is a dying trade, but uh, my father took it up after my grandfather, and now my husband as well too. Your husband learned from your father, is yes. that right? Yep. Wow. Yep. Yep. My, my keeping husband. it alive. Yes, for now, sure. What happens when your husband decides to give it up? Uh, that won't be for a while, I think. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> he does enjoy it. Because you know, seriously, I ask this for a serious reason. Is because it's one of those lost arts. It is. It's one of the things that is gradually fading away. No yeah. pun intended. Over time. Yeah. Yeah. A a lot of the kids coming out of school nowadays are so much more interested in computers and graphics and all this new high-tech uh, sort of thing. The schooling for this is, has gone pretty much as well, too. There's nothing better, though, than an old clock. I mean, yeah. isn't it something that you walk into somebody's home and they've yeah. got a great clock, a yeah. grandfather clock, yeah. or even a cuckoo clock? Yeah. Yeah, it decorates. You look and you go, wow, that's cool. Yeah, it decorates the house. It, it, um, it brings warmth to the home. And it was the center core of the house. So that's why the grandfather clock sat mostly in the middle of the house so you could hear the chimes going around the house. Exactly. And there's still uh, new clocks available, right? Yes. When definitely. it comes to that sort of thing? Yep. We do sell new clocks, everything from grandfather clocks to alarm clocks, chiming wall and mantle clocks as well. Mm -hmm. um, you have all different kinds. Uh, we have our shop right there, so folks can talk to my husband, Gaetan, at the same time, too. Right. And look at the new clocks. Great for wedding gifts or corporate events as well, too. I think you're right. I think you're right, and it's well good to see that. that someone is still looking after yeah. that sort of thing. It's an old trade, but it's a, it's a great trade to be in. Where's your shop, Barbara? Uh, it's at 112 King Street West, just right downtown. Yeah, it's not, right, not far from here. No, no, just a block or so down the street. Thanks for coming to see Thank us. Thank you. Pleasure it's to talk you. to you. Good to be here. All right. Hey, uh, Barbara, are you hungry? A little. We got some oh, cooking no. going on. Let's go. <laughs>